Hello and welcome to Daily Prayer today for August 24th, 2022. Glad that you are with me today. Today is... There we go. National Scam Artist Day. Pluto Demoted Day. St. Bartholomew History. Ukraine Independence Day. Vesuvius Day. And William Wilberforce Day. Go ahead and get started. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. We pray to you, O Lord, you hear us in the morning. At sunrise, we offer our prayer and wait for your answer. Our reading for today is Genesis chapter 11, verses starting with verse 1. Listen for God's word to speak to you. Now the whole earth had one language and the same words. And as they migrated from the east, they came upon a plain in the land of Shinar and settled there. And they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone and bitumen for mortar. Then they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its top in the heavens. And let us make a name for ourselves, otherwise we shall be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. The Lord Yahweh came down to see the city and the tower which mortals had built. And Yahweh said, Look, they are one people, and they have all one language, and this is only the beginning of what they will do. Nothing that they possess will do her proposed to do will now be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and confuse their language there, so that they will not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of all the earth, and they left off building the city. Therefore it was called Babel, because there the Lord confused the language of all the earth, And from there, the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of all the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So our readings for today. Interesting stuff. Um, Tower of Babel is is sort of this is this is closing this section of Genesis. Um, Genesis chapter from one to 11 is sort of this prehistory. All right. So let's remember where we are. This is after the flood. Now people have gone out. The descendants of Hem, Shem, and Japheth um, have sort of, they've, they've been fruitful and they've multiplied and there's a bunch of people, but they're all in the same place. They have not moved from that place. They are just there. And now they want to build this great tower. So there's lots of things to this, right? Um, so come, let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly. Um, this is an interesting thing because this is uh, bricks, right, which are uniform rather than stones, which are sort of not uniform. There's only so far, so high you can build something with natural stones. Um, there's almost no limit. There actually is, but there's almost no limit to what you can build with bricks. Um, there's uniformity. So there are, have, are some who have said um, one of the things that we can take from this is this sort of uh, this desire for sort of individual um, and individuality and, and um, what's the word that I'm thinking of? Diversity as opposed to a uniformity of thought and, and all that sort of thing, right? So there's, that's an interesting one. You also notice they're making it out of brick and bitumen for mortar. Bitumen is, is pitch. So what do we write immediately after? We're after this great and terrible flood. And so what do humans do? They say, let's make a large tower high above all of the other things, and let's make it with pitch with bitumen. Make sure that it's waterproof. Because God has said that God's not going to flood the world again, but I'm not sure if we trust this. So they build this great thing. 
They are also trying to make a name for themselves. They are trying to be great. They are trying to be gods in themselves. Back all the way to Genesis 3, you can be like God, and they're going to raise themselves up, sort of bring themselves up to the stature of, of gods. Um, and you've got to believe they're... Um, I don't know if you've got to believe, but um, it is not crazy to think that there was one sort of Gilgamesh, mighty king, somebody, right, who, who was behind this building project. Uh, though their name may be lost to history, there's, there was this one person. It wasn't the whole group of people saying, hey, you know what we should do? It was probably one person saying, this is what we should do. And so they might be raised up above everyone else. Uh, it is a an homage to humanity's hubris. It is this great tower. Look at how wonderful, how mighty we are. We have made this thing. Um, there are also some who are coming up on the the anniversary of September 11th, right? Uh, there are some who connect this Tower of Babel and um, the World Trade Center, this sort of great tower that we have erected in our image, humanities and and Western sort of capitalism's uh, sort of great pillar um, to show how great we are, and there was a humbling there. Um, interesting. So God comes down and says, I'm going to confuse their language because if they keep, at this point, there's nothing that they don't put their minds to that they cannot do. Now, partially we hear that and we say, well, is, is that a bad thing? Well, it could be, right? Because why are they doing this? This is for their own self-aggrandizement. This is for their own ego. This is to make a name for themselves. This is not, um, you know, to, to help everyone. This is to help us. So there may be an element of this where God is saying, sure, there's amazing things you can do, but don't just do whatever you want. There is no seeking after God. Uh, this is what God is going to do, or this is what we should do because God has told us. It's none of that. Right, it's it's they're just doing what is right in their own eyes, and this throughout the whole whole Old Testament is a major sort of theme of people doing what is right in their own eyes. They think that they should do this. Um, there is also an element of this story which is, it is a story, it is a myth, it is a in you know mythos back to that sort of. Um, collection of stories that tells people who they are and whose they are part of what it the function of this story is also ex to explain well if everyone was related at one point not that long ago why are there all these different cultures why are they all there are all these different languages why are they are there are all these different peoples from around the world well, why are they so different well, the story says, well, because God came in and, and disrupted them and gave them all these different languages and, and cultures and all these sort of different things, it is an explanation. It is a reason why there are is this diversity of people um, throughout the world. There's also, in the ancient world, there was absolutely uh, stories of this great tower that was built in the, uh, I don't remember where it was specifically, um, but in the sort of Chaldean area, in the uh, sort of close to the Babylonian, um, sort of early precursor to the Babylonian Empire, there was this great ziggurat, this huge ziggurat that it has shown up in various um, sort of depictions and and illustrations and those sorts of things. There's there's no archaeological evidence yet for this great tower. Um, but there is sort of circumstantial archaeological evidence that there was this great tower. And again, these authors are trying to explain and saying, yes, there was this great tower. And it's no longer there or it's, it's no longer significant. And this is why, because God has done this thing. Um, 
So all of the people are spread out. There's now a diversity of languages. There's a diversity of cultures and looks and all of those ethnicities, all of those different things. Now we begin, so this is the, the again, the prehistory part of Genesis. Now we will begin sort of a, the, the next phase. Um, this is sort of the first movement of the book of Genesis. Now we begin the second movement, really focusing on Abraham and going from this story of all the people of the world to now this one person. Um, even with Noah, there was a focus on one person, but then became the beginning of all of the people of the world, right? So it's, it hasn't quite happened yet. Now we're talking about a particular person. Uh, we're talking several, you know, probably a thousand years afterwards. This is a long time afterwards. Um, and the choosing of one family among all the nations. This is the beginning of the Hebrew people. So there is the, uh, the Tower of Babel and uh, closing in on the very end of, um, of the first movement of the book of Genesis. Those are our readings. Let's go ahead and join together in prayer. Satisfy us with your love in the morning, and we will live this day in joy and praise. Eternal God, we rejoice this morning in the gift of life, which we have received by your grace and the new life you give in Jesus Christ. Especially we thank you for ministries of compassion, witness, and service. Those who make and grow the things we need. The communities in which we live. strength and abilities to serve you today. Indications of your love at work in the world. People of God, for what else do we give thanks? We give thanks for the diversity of your people, from every tribe and tongue and nation who gather around your throne. We thank you that you don't let us do everything that we want to. God of grace, we offer our prayers for the needs of others and commit ourselves to serve them even as you have served us in Jesus Christ. Especially we pray for the church in Africa. The conservation of the soil, water, and air. those closest to us in this community. Friends and relatives who are far away. All who care for others in body, mind, and spirit. People of God, for what else do we pray? We pray for Fran, a friend of Beverly's, whose cancer has returned to her kidneys, as well as Fran's brother, who has stage four cancer. We pray for Joseph, Lynn's grandfather, who is hospitalized. We pray for the Sens family, who will be moving to Mississippi. We pray for Keith, son-in-law of Dennis and Ernie for Nick, who is recovering from shoulder surgery, for Van, who has cancer and is undergoing radiation treatment, for Tony, who has started radiation treatment. God of our salvation, as the light of morning dawns, heaven and earth sing your praise. Cause us to live and grow in faith so that we may bear good fruit for the glory of your holy realm. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now let us continue to pray using the words that Christ taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now may we continue to grow in the grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Bless the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Thank you so much for joining me today for daily prayer. Join me tomorrow for some more. Like this video, share it with someone else. Click on the subscription and the notification button as well as going to our website, johncalvinchurch.org. Check out our Facebook and Instagram accounts as well. Our liturgy today came from the Book of Common Worship of the Presbyterian Church USA 2018 edition, and our readings came from the New Revised Standard Version of the Bible. Thank you for joining me. Have a blessed day, and we'll see you next time.